All right, so here's a little down and dirty video of the first beta of Wise integration with Basehead. So first off, you need the latest version of Wise 2018.1, and you need to go to user preferences here. You have to look at the dark mode because it just looks better, and you need to enable WAPI here, the Wise Authoring API WAPI. So check that on, and you might need to restart Basehead and, and restart your Wise project the first time. Um, get out of here and you can see I already have some objects in Wise here that are actually in Basehead and you can see when I delete them in Basehead you're going to see them delete in Wise. So we're going to start over here and you see that they're synced up so any sound you want to send to Wise you can hit the transfer button here you see fly over there or you can just hit control X. So I'm going to file and control exit and you see it fly and then say we want this little piece, and let's laugh. We want to pitch down. Control X again, and that's over here also. And you can see all the parameters that Basehead has. Um, let's pitch this one up. Over here also. So now we can uh, recall any of these by selecting it. And we can hear exactly what we had, and then we can readjust the region, readjust the pitch, and we can hit the update button here, and you see the parameters update in Wise. You can also change the pitch slider and all the parameters inside Wise, and come back over here and pull it back down with the recall or control B, and you'll see it also updates in base head also. So the parameters are fully synced. Uh, like I said, all the parameters you, that, uh, that we currently have are in the multi-editor here. We got BST parameters recalling also coming up. Uh, solos and mutes come across. So say if we want, if we had had a channel that was soloed when we throw it to Wise, Control X. Later on, when we re re recall that one. You, you see that channel one is, is soloed. Whether it's distracted, if uh, reverse, say. So for this one, we hit reverse, hit the right channel, and a selection. Send that to Wise. Again, once again, when we recall that later on, let's deselect and recall it, everything recalls, whether it's extracted, reversed, all that good stuff. You can update the parameters, toss it back and forth, and it's all love and peace and gravy. <laughs> also, um, pitch effects go across also. So wherever the setting was here, send that to Ys. Again, you can recall it sliders, whether it's in pitch effects or stretch mode, we'll, we'll recall also. Okay, and another way to get files from Wise to Basehead is to set as an external editor for now. In the future, we're going to have this a little bit more hardwired, um, but for now, go to user preferences, set Basehead as your external editor. So now, if you go to an external editor, you go to Basehead, which is Control E, it's going to fly to Basehead also. It's another way to get it over there. So if you're clicking around here in Basehead search in, and then you're in Wise, you go, oh, this, sound, this is the one I want to re-pull over. You can um, hit Control E, throw it to Basehead, say I want to change that pitch, and then now update it in Wise. And you see it updates the parameters. And also, I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but when, when we pull over a file from Wise, the waveform turns blue. And also, see a little Wise icon down here. So, you see the difference. Normal base head, it's green. And then when you pull it over from Wise, whether it's coming over with, with uh, Control E from Wise or, or pulling in from Control B with base head, which is the same as this recall here, we make the way from blue just so we have some association that it's a Wise file that is uh, currently recalled in base head. So, like I said, this is the very first phase of this. Um, there's going to be a lot more coming. In the future, we're just trying to see how, what, what people need, and it um, should be pretty uh, pretty handy. I think for a lot of people, should be pretty excited to be able to toss files back and forth, modify them, and toss it back. So anyway, give it a try. Let us know what you think.